guys in the next series of videos we're going to be looking at graphql now graphql is a query language that was developed by facebook to solve issues they had with making complex queries like getting information of friends and their friends friends facebook could not support going four levels deep or more so graphql takes care of of the limitations of uh, rest apis GraphQL can support any API and is capable of making queries across multiple databases. So GraphQL is definitely not a server or a database. It is a query language with many benefits which include getting exactly what you ask for when you make a query and nothing else. Okay, so I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code Editor to write my code. You can use any code editor of your choice. So let's start by setting up our Node.js server. We will also install Babel, which will allow us to use declarative ES6 syntax to import and export our project dependencies. Okay, let's start by creating our project folder. I'm just gonna place mine inside here. I'm gonna name it Essentials. You can have yours any location you want. Okay, now let's open the folder in our Visual Studio Code Editor. Okay, and I'm going to open my terminal from here. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is want to create a package.json file by running npm init. And I'm going to leave everything as default. And I'm gonna type yes. Okay, done. So now we have our package.json file created in here. And the next thing we want to do is install a few dependencies. I'm gonna run npm install dash dash serve express and I'm gonna install nodmon. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing with our dev dependencies. I'm gonna do npm install dash dash save dash dev and I'm gonna install bubble and bubble preset environment preset env and bubble Preset stage zero. Okay. So node one will automatically refresh the server each time we make a change to our code. And uh, the bubble preset will make it possible for us to run ES6. So uh, the next thing we want to do is we go inside our scripts, inside our, inside our package.json and we write a script here start we're using nodemon because we want our server to refresh every time we make changes and index.js which is our entry file and i'm gonna write exec bubble node dash e js so what, what this code does is uh, it let us run ES6 without any problems. It compiles it to normal JavaScript. Okay, so now the next thing we want to do, I'm just gonna save this, sorry. I'm gonna create another file here. I'm gonna call it dot bubble rc. Inside this file, I'm gonna create an object and I'll have my presets here env and stage 0 now the next thing we want to do is create our entry file which is index.js and in this file I'm gonna create a basic server I'm gonna import express from express I'm gonna do const app is equal to express app dot get you hit this 
you're gonna get whatever we're gonna we're gonna send back here so request response and I'm gonna do response dot send I love GraphQL okay so the next thing I'm gonna do app dot listen report 8080 and I'm gonna do a console dot log running on HTTP localhost 8080 okay so now let's start our server and see if it runs I'm gonna run npm start okay so we have set up our, our server and it's running so the next video we're gonna set up basic GraphQL and uh, create a basic schema so see you in the next video